Tayo joined. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what up, G's? It's your boy, Prophet74. Today, I got a couple of great things to talk about today. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to like it. But first, we're going to start with this right now. This is just to get you guys' attention, but. I got something hidden right here. So it's right behind me, actually. I'm pretty excited about it. It's um, an emulator that I got set up and everything. It's working really good. It's, oh man, I'm just, I can't even talk about it. I'm so excited about it right now. I got it working. Uh, the PlayStation modification that we had, I, I know you guys were here before it. Uh, but today we're just going to do model making and then we'll talk about the gaming. And those that are just joining us, welcome to the show. Um, this is an old model kit. I had this sucker maybe uh, 1998 or 19. It's an old kit. It is, um, I don't know what year is it, but it's, it's pretty old. If you guys see it, it's, uh, uh, wow. If you send in $9, you receive a subscription to Star Wars Inside Magazine. Man, that's how old it is. Nine bucks subscription. Um, I don't know how old is this kid. I had this. I bought this in a comic book store uh, for 40 bucks. It was on sale. <laughs> it was for $40. I still have the damn price tag Daddy right Dev here. Joined. Yeah, I had the damn price tag still available. And today, we're also going to talk about the Xbox the little controller I have right behind me. So I'm going to set this up, sucker, so you guys can see it a little bit here, little by little. Uh, for some reason the the camera's not coming in. I'm gonna see what's going on with the camera. It's not it's not moving. It's not I Don't see it coming in I'm, I'm spinning it. It's not moving. See that cap the, the thing that's not moving in the back That is crazy. Why is that not working? What's going on? You know why I know why the camera's not even on that's why so let's t let's turn it on Let's get the sucker going Let's see if we get the camera going Ah, there we go. That's why it's not working. It's not in the same window. It's supposed to be in the same window. There we go. There we go. Let me see if I spin it. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna talk about the Xbox controller too. Why I got it with me? We're gonna. I got a couple things in the background. Uh, I'm not gonna give you guys the setup yet, but um, we are gonna talk about what I have here. And if you guys see it, what it says. Coin ops, that's what you guys need to know. That's something that we're gonna talk about it. But first, we're gonna play, we're gonna open this box out. I, I opened it, I started working on it. And in fact, I did work on the Predator too. I have it sitting right here. If you guys wanna check it out, let me know. Um, I'm gonna start painting it. But today, we're gonna open this old, old, old box I had. Um, it's been sitting in my attic. Uh, you know what? I've been I've been lucky to 
bring it along with me. Look at this. Look at this massive model that we're going to have to create. That is insane. Look at how big it is. And it comes with the tattoos, the, the, the steens. I'm just going to put everything in here. And they give you a little rag too. Look at that. A rag and the stickers. Man, I still have them. I can't believe it. All this since, um, let me tell you what year it was when I got this, all right? It was uh, 1994. Damn. I had this 1994 Bubba Fit assembly kit um, since 1994. That is crazy. See? And this is how it's going to look at the end, of course, you know, but it, you know what? I've just been blessed that I have these things and, uh, and uh, like I said, I was into comic books. Look at that. They give you everything. The kit, how to put the tattoos, the stickers, and all that stuff. That is crazy. We're, we're not going to build the whole thing today because it is massive. But we are going to start cutting the edges out and cutting the things that we're supposed to cut out right here. A couple edges here. Now, to cut them out, it's a little difficult. Look how big this guy stands. He is a huge monster. Look at that. I cut this part out, but I need to sand it out a little bit more. You know, because this sucker has to fit this sucker here. So we got to make sure it fits well. And it is a massive model. Uh, to paint it, it's going to be uh, a, a task. Uh, I'll let you know. It's just one of those things that I don't think I'm going to be done in two or three days. Look at, look at this. The hand, even the hands are big. Look at that. I didn't even know I had this, honestly. I... I, I I have stuff that I didn't even know I had, uh, which is great because today it's today's treasures, you know, and to have something like this since 1994, just like the Predator. In fact, let me bring something so you guys can check them out. Let me bring them out. Over. I'm going to drink. I'm going to bring my baby. My baby. I just finished them. Let me put them here. I, I'm, I haven't finished them actually, but I'm going to put this sucker on the side for now. Let's put this on the side. Let's bring the Predator. Let's talk a little bit about the 1994 Predator that we built the other day. Um, I just primed it right now, so it's still a little smoky. If you guys see it. So, check it out. He is super prime. I'm going to put him here for you guys to see him. I don't think he's going to hold. Oh, oh, oh. He's holding. There's his head. And then, we let me put this on the bottom. So we don't need this. Let's put it on that side for now. The base. Look at that massive, awesome undertaking. You know, I primed it, but I still need some prime anywhere, and I'm gonna paint it next. And this is a monumental task to do on it. And this is just a body. Look at the head, how elaborate it is. You know, look at that. I I I um painted it because I wanted to tone it and cover some of the edges. I still need some cracks that I need to fill, but this is probably the best way. Look at that. Awesome predator, huh? What do you guys think? This is going to be hard to paint. It's not going to be something simple. Uh, right now, everything's prime right now. I'm going to pre-prime it again, but I don't want to thicken it too much because then I'm going to have to sand it off. And um, I am going to sand some of the top, some of the edges. But look at this, this thing. It goes like this. So when you put the character, he's going to go something like... Let me see if I can tuck him in here. This is super hard to put together. Something like that. I'm not going to glue it right now, but I'll glue it later. Something like that. It is a massive undertaking of this stuff. I mean, to be painting, it's going to be the hardest shit, you know? I don't think I'm going to do it in one day. But I'm priming it right now, and I'm putting it together. Make sure that I'm going to sand in the right stuff. Um, make sure that these hairs are not going to hit any interfere or anything. And make sure it's all comes together like that something like that so this is probably going to be the f and now i'm going to put some blood on there i'm going to put some blood dripping here from here make sure the skeleton the skull gets the blood um his blades get the right color uh, right now i colored them before when i was younger i couldn't color i couldn't paint now i got say i got better i'm not painting them yet i'm not putting them together yet i'm going to paint them separate first two separate pieces I'm going to start with the top and then the, the bottom first. The bottom bar is the, the most uh, elaborate and the most um, 
technical part of it. So we're going to end up repainting every single scale, every single line that I see in black. Um, copper tone, a boomerang that he has. Um, the blood dripping from the skeleton. I mean, this stuff took me... Took me a couple of minutes to do, to be honest with you. It's not that bad, but to sand it, I ended up um, taking off some of the edges. I want to make sure it doesn't look like a model. It's going to look more like, see like these edges right there? I still have to seal them. So I'm going to seal all those edges right there, all the way to here, and then reprime it again. Because we, we want to make sure that these edges are not visible. This is what I want to do. I want to hide those things, you know? But look at this. This is crazy, man. I like it. I like the human skull in here and stuff. You know, I like the the, little, the level of details they have in the back. I like the 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 even even the sword car uh, the the sword saddle. You know, look at that. It's pretty awesome stuff, man. So I, I primed it again, but I'm gonna resand it again and tap it up with all the cover all the little holes and edges. There's two ways to doing the to cover the holes. Um, one you could re-glue it and then prime it after over the glue. And it'll cover pretty good, but some of the glue sinks in and melts in there because it's it's glue. It, it, it when it it's heat sensitive, so I might not use that. Now here, I'm gonna repaint his eyes. Of course, you know I'm gonna repaint his mouth. I'm gonna repaint everything. I'm gonna put some drool. I'm gonna repaint his teeth. Of course, the teeth are gonna be uh, um, undertaking if you guys see that. And it's pretty neat. I like the details on this. I mean, it took me quite a while, but, you know, here we got it. We got it going. We got it going. And, and today we're going to start another project. We're going to start this sucker here, you know, which um, you guys are here for that. But if you guys want to see more of the gaming stuff, I got your gaming. I got your backs here, guys. So it's one of the things that we could take a look at it. It's, it's really neat what I have right now. And it's crazy. See that stuff? I like this part. So, did you guys like this? This is pretty neat, huh? So, we're going to put this the sucker down. It's still drying. It's still drying, so we're going to put them down. All right. And we're going to open up the case here. So, on Bubba Fit, uh, there's a couple of things we got to do. So, basically, they're cheap scapes that they didn't want to do a good model back in the days in fact if you guys see the model um details on here it tells you that you got to cut a lot of things you got to pretty much leave a lot of stuff out cut and then under this you actually have to leave some undertaking before you sink it up so this is not going to be completely cut the top so we're talking about this part right here it's just to cut half of it there's a line there actually marked already where i have to start cutting it and in this in this part it's like it's because when it sinks in and this is how cheap they were back in the days. This is 1994, you know, and he's supposed to look like this at the end. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna take some time. It's not easy. Even the cape itself. Check, they gave you this cape. They want you to paint the cape too. This is the actual cape they gave you. It's a rag. It's like a, it's a, it's a tissue, man. That's what it is. Are you kidding me? I ain't gonna paint this. I'm gonna go buy a rag and put it in there, you know. And this is, I'm not going to buy, I'm not going to paint this material. This material is not easy to paint. Um, in fact, when you paint it, it's stiffening up. It gets hardened, you know. So I want to make sure it's something light, something better than this material. This is, this is stupid. I'm not going to do that. Well, we are going to cut this part. We're going to start with this part. And I got the tools here, in fact. You know, people don't, oh, don't do it, don't do it. You know, I could have sold this. I could have resold it and, 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 and done it myself. But in reality, I want to do the project. I, I'm just, I've been soaked about this. I do have a, another project set up in place that I'm going to do too. Let me start with a hole here first, you know. And I got some other stuff, man. I, you guys are going to like what I have right now. I'm working on a project right behind me. And I'm going to let you guys see it right now in a bit. Um, but first, we're going to cut some incision, some tactical cuts in here. Just to make sure that we don't pass the line in here. Uh, there we go. And then loosen it up. Oh, look at that. Loosen it up. That's where I won't pass the line. That's why I can know that, hey, this is where you don't, you don't cross. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep it loose. I got a couple wire cutters here that we're going to do. This blade is it's a little sharp, but 
I'm just gonna film probably till 8:40, guys, because um, I got an NBA draft I have to attend today. Um, it's a it's a it's a pretty neat uh, draft that we're gonna play. You know, normally I, I play with friends and family and stuff like that. So I was invited to one this year. And um, let me get this tool I have here. And this Chris is S N O W one three D print. Oh yeah, you want to see what I print it? Ooh, no, no, this is not three D printed, brother. This is a model. That I had, I bought in 1994 too. Also, it's a model kit, man. It's based out of Bubba Fett, a Star Wars, very famous character. If you don't know who he is, he's one of my top favorite characters. But even though he didn't make that much of a movie, and the, you know, they try to bring him back as a secondary, as the the making of Bubba Fett, and um, it didn't do very good. I mean, I don't like how they killed him off. You know, it was basic. Ah oh, man, this thing, this material is hard to cut. Just to let you guys know, this 1994, it's like, you know what kind of material is it? A Barbie kind, the the thick part of it, and it's like, it is freaking hard. I'm gonna have to chop it off or solder it off, you know. My little pliers can't even cut it. Look at that. Look at that. I can't even make an indentation in there. That is crazy. I'm trying with two different pliers on here damn it it's almost impossible oh I got gas here right now let me see it's open so let me show you guys how to do this it's a crazy model oh it's open the door's open just knock knock Somebody's there. That's why. Look how crazy this thing is. This is going to be hard to cut. Chris SNOW1, you sure post to cut all of that? <laughs> yeah, it tells you right here. It's supposed to cut half of it. You're filming the video? No. I'll see you guys later. That's crazy. Oh man, this is damn. This is super hard, dude. I'm not gonna be able to cut this sucker in with this pliers or any of my material. Right now. I need actual. Uh, you know what? I do have another set of. This one maybe would do. Nah, look how sh damn. I can't even cut it. I'm gonna cut my finger here if I do this. This is gonna be impossible. Look at the material. I just made a little dent, and you need to cut half of it. So this part, I don't even know how I did the other part. Shit, look at this. I cut this through. In fact, I am gonna, I am gonna sand this off. This one seems that I gotta sand it off too to even it out. Damn, look how, look how hollow it is. Look at that, thick. They don't make stuff like this no more. They do not make stuff like this at all. Oh man. So you guys ready for the, you guys ready for, I'm going to have to saw, I'm going to have to saw this. There's no way I could cut this. Look at this. Look how thick it is. It's like super, super thick, man. You need to you know what I could do. I could melt it down a little bit and then, then put it together. But we're not, we're not going to stop the show for that. I'm going to show you guys something. You guys want to check out something. If you guys want to check something out that I have, let Chris me know. Where did you get that? Oh man, I got this during college. 1994. They don't make these suckers no more. I bought it in 1994. Here is a for $40. I bought it for 40 bucks. I don't know how much it's worth now, to be honest with you. But it still has a price tag. And um I bought this oh, a long time ago. I mean, like I said. Chris SNOW1 and you beaver open it. I opened it. I'm cutting it. I started cutting this part of it. Um, I cut this one with the saw, but I didn't, I thought I was going to be able to do it with this, but I can't. This is supposed to go in here. It's a big bubble fit. We're talking about huge. And check this out. Did you guys see the last one I made? I'm going to show you guys again. Look at you guys recognize this guy? That is crazy. I primed it right now. I'm going to get ready to paint it 
And this is the Predator I built, the 1994 Predator 2. I finished it. It's complete. Um, the head goes. The head's gonna go in the Chris bottom. Chris N O W one. I meant when you first got it. Oh, when I first got it. Um. Yeah, I I I opened it. I did open it, but um, I'll be honest with you. I set it aside. And I'll tell you what I did. I set it aside in 1994. I I bought it and um. The only reason I set it aside is because I was not a very good painter back then. You know, I was just starting to do a lot of painting and stuff like that. And I put it outside because it's something I didn't want to mess up. And I say, when I build up my skills, I'm going to go back and I'm going to do it. And now I got these skills that I need. To, I could paint. I could airbrush. I could do all sorts of things. So I'm ready for this. I'm ready to do the models and I'm ready for this. Um, So that's the only reason I'm starting now. So it's been sitting in in a case in a box. I have all these models, man. I had like 20 different models since 1994, 1995, and I got one. Let me show you guys a big one I have. Hold on, give me a second. I'm gonna bring it over. Chris S N O W one. Oh, good choice. I don't want to mess it up. But I'm gonna show you guys something. Hold on, let me move something. Whoa. Let me bring in this sucker. Look at this. You don't see stuff like this no more. Look at that. You guys recognize it, huh? I know I paid a little bit, a lot, because look how big it is. It's huge. I mean, we're talking about... Let me see if I could widen the shot. No, I can't widen the shot more. But my hand's like this big. And it goes... So I'm going to do this one, too. Lone and Star. Hello, what's up? What's up, man? I'm just showing off my models and stuff like that I'm going to do. Look how big it is. And then I'm going to show you guys a, a new system that you guys are going to like right now. I'm going to demo a new system. It's still intact, mint condition. It's huge, humongous, you know. And the thing is, I don't want to mess it up. Where are you going to put it? This one's going to be right behind me. It's going to be in the show, man. If I built it, I'm going to make sure it comes out, you know. If I built it and I paint it, I'm going to make sure it comes out. They don't make these kind of details no more. They make them cheaper now. You could print them out too. But look at this sucker. I didn't have to print it out. I bought this one. I was a model collector. I'm, I'm sorry. I used to collect models. I bought this one a long time ago. Along with the bubble fit and everything. But it is in mint condition. Mint condition. Never opened that even in plastic. The reason is that... I was scared. I didn't want to do stuff that I, I wasn't good at yet. I had to build myself up. And it took many years to, to, to get to this point. To build it up. So listen guys. I'm going to start. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to film 20 more minutes. Because I got a draft I have to hit today. It's an NBA draft that we do. Uh, fantasy basketball. But I'm going to show you something. You guys ready for the secret stuff? Alright let's do it. Alright let me put this away. I'm going to show you guys, because this is hard to do, man. If you guys just came in for the bubble fit, I started it, and it took me a quite a while just to even cut a little dent. So we're going to put this away right now, and I'm going to show you guys this. You guys recognize this. You guys are familiar with this, huh? You're all familiar with the Xbox control. Everybody should be familiar with the Xbox control. I don't own the Xbox, but I do own a lot of Xbox controllers. And there's only one reason I own them. And it's sitting right behind me. So remember that I built that PS3 uh, PlayStation modification with the computer inside? Well, I'm going to show you what I built it for. And I want you guys to take a look at it. So I'm going to change the cameras right now. So you guys can check it out. And I'm going to show you a little demo that I've been doing. And it's been working. And I'm going to show you guys how you can get this for free. I'm not going to tell you where. But just I'm going to give you hints. And do stuff like that. So let's let's bring in the handheld. Here we go. So the name of the program is called Coin Ops. Xbox controller. What's that? I only know keyboard and mouse. Oh, 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 you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this, brother. So behind me, I got a TV screen. All right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the controller in here. See if I can get it going. 
Okay, right behind me, I'm going to start something right now. I'm going to turn on the Xbox controller. Now, this program recognizes Xbox controllers, recognizes USBs, recognizes your keyboard, your mouse, and the thunder sticks, and all sorts of things. Automatically, you don't have to do anything. Chris SNOW1, PC Master Race LOL. No, and if you have an Xbox, you can put this program in your Xbox for free, and it comes included what I'm going to show you guys. So, let me get this going here. There we go. This is playing off the Xbox, the PlayStation game system I, I built. I'm going to put this camera down so you guys can see a little bit better. All right, here we go. So on the coin ops machine, let me stretch this out a little bit more so you guys can see. On the coin op machine, the system automatically works. Look at this. Any game you want to play, old school games, arcade games, I'm going to show you guys how to get there. Look at that. Let's go to the Street Fighter games. Let's let's go Street Fighter games. Any games that you like back in the days when you're a kid, arcade? Chris it, S N O W. It's in here. Nice. It is freaking nice, and it's playing off the PlayStation that I built the other day. And um, what what? Let me see. I don't know how many games there are. There are hundreds of them, and it's under. 50 gigs the whole setup is under 50 gig. This was one of my top games. I used to love back in the kids, you know But look at all these Oh, this game this game. I remember this game like yesterday Let me let, there's so many games. I'm just gonna go down the look at that Look at that predator game predator versus alien game and and all you got to do is hit the start button So we're gonna start the button. We're gonna a a to start all right. It starts automatically it picks up controllers so if you if it's a four-man player controller it will recognize your controllers on top of that it recognizes anything you plug in automatically it's been programmed somebody created this program where other games are included including the controllers that are automatically installed in there and i'll put details at the end of the video today so you guys can check it out but what you can do on this one put in the coins you put in the credits like this credits start it and select the player. Well, hell yeah, we're gonna play Predator, man. Look at that. And automatically get your your arcade going with your computer. And an Xbox controller. If you have Xbox controller, you can do that. So all the control all the buttons work. They all pre-programmed. You don't have to pre-program anything. So to get out of it, you hit the two buttons. Hit the two buttons, it gets out to the main screen that we were in the beginning. And then here we could go find whatever game you want dude do you guys remember bad dudes you know and this one has arcade nintendo 64 gamecube playstation 2 all built in the system and this game this system could run on mostly any applic any any hardware that i ran into i i've been running in this to testing it out let me see here this is a Street Fighter right here. Look how well the graphics work. And the system, like I say, I don't have a video card on this on this motherboard. It's running off the video card on the motherboard to run the system. So I just created a whole console with this application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit an auto start on the application. So it can Leafy boot Harley. up. That's dope. Chris SNOW1, do you have battle toads? Oh, yeah. It's included in here, brother. It is included. I mean... The list is amazing of games. If you think of any game you guys and it's in here. To to look for it, you're on your own brother because look at Killer Instincts. I don't and it's it's all included in the program along with your games and it like I said it works with your keyboard and mouse if you don't have a, a controller. It works with the PlayStation controllers. It works with any controller. Automatically will pick up all the buttons too. And it works on the thunder stick. You know that thunder stick I have? The big joystick I showed you guys a while back? It works properly with this thing. Look at that. WWF. Not WWE. WWF back in the days. Look at that. And X-Men. The X-Men game. The fighting X-Men. I mean, let me see their toads. Let me see if your toads here. It's going to be hard to find it, man, but it's in here. It's somewhere in here. These are all the shooters. There's probably like, I don't know, three or four hundred games. Oh, no, there's, oh, you know what? In the bottom, there's an alphabet ties. 
I could see the little thing that we're in the east. And we haven't even touched the surface of it. Let me keep going down. Because it keeps starting to the main one. Leafy barley. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. It's amazing. So if you're looking for a emulation system that you don't have to program, this is the thing you got to do. Simple to do. I wish I could. I'm going to put it more on here. If you guys more, want more details and in-depth review how to set this up and how, where to get it, let me know. Hit me up. I will put it. Make sure you guys get this stuff because it's out there. It's going to be out there for a while. You know. Chris S N O W one. How much memory did it take for all the games? Memory. It has eight gigs. That's it. Eight gigs. Memory hard drive under. Let me see. I'll show you right now the file size. I'll show you how big. Oh, I have it over here in this computer. I'll tell you how big is the folder. The folder that houses the games and everything else. I'll tell you in a bit. Oh, here it is. Okay. 17.3 gigs. It's all included in here. Includes all the games. Includes the emulator that programs. Some guy named Brittany um, Flies created the Steam. And he's selling this shit, man. He's making tons of money. And so... Instead of people buying it, it's been out in the internet now. Everybody's getting this shit now. So, I mean, you just got to find it. You got to look for it. And and then, oh, yeah, there's a way you could put your favorites here. So, right now, I don't, I don't have any favorites. But what you can do, you go into the star and you could add favorites. I still haven't figured out how to set up my favorites. But this is somebody's favorites. I'm just going over somebody's favorite. But you could modify this. And it has asteroids. It has all these old arcades too. The list goes on and on. Everybody loves Bubble Bubble for some reason. And they have my ultimate favorite. Burger Time. I like Burger Time. I like my Burger Time. I haven't got it in the miniature format. On top of that. Um, they do have Dig Dug. They do have Donkey Kong. They they have all the. All the look at that. Centerpiece. The original one almost, look at that, the arcade version of it. I could go on and on with this list, but I bet you something that you want to want or you want it to play, it's in here. I guarantee you that. All these old school games. This is now we're going more of the Nintendo version. I'm just going to go down the list of all the stuff they have. They have tons of stuff. So if you guys want me to make a video on this. From the ground up, I can show you guys, and you guys could follow your own route for 17 gigs of Chris information. SNOW1. Let's see you play one. What do you want me to play? Let's see something that you Chris guys. Chris SNOW1. Love Contra. Contra. All right. Let's see Contra. Oh, oh, oh. Which one? There's two of them. This one or Contra three? What do Contra 3? It's a little different, you know. I like the original contract. But, hey, we'll, we'll take whatever it takes. So, the program, it automatically picks up your Xbox controller. You don't have to, you could set up two controllers, and it'll recognize both controllers as first player and second player. Now, if you're going to play the big arcades like The Simpsons, for example, on the old emulators, you were not able to connect your controller to the right character that you wanted to play. Now, this one gives you an option to play all that stuff. And if you, it's a coin machine on the select Chris button, you would have to put the coins. Three. Well, we're playing Contra 3 already. So, if you remember this old school game, I'm going to hit start button. And you can play two players, A and B. I don't know what that is. I forgot what it was, but you hit start button and it starts like a regular game stage one and you could change the graphics too. I'm going to show you another thing you can do. You could change the actual theme. It is amazing. Chris I mean, was... SNOW1, make sure to pick up the following missiles. Look at that. Back in the school, old school days. Look at that. Does it give you any flashbacks? <laughs> Look at this. I, I could play these games on and on. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you how to get out. All right. So to get out, you hit the two buttons. Select and start. Takes you back to the beginning of the system. Oh, man, 
I'm gonna have to show you guys how to do this. This is amazing stuff that it's been out there for quite a while, but it was for the Xbox version. Now they combine in the FE and coin ops combined together, and now it's out for everybody to get this stuff. It is some crazy funky stuff, but I really like it. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, look at this earthworm gem, and let's keep going down the like. I could keep going on the list. I'm just gonna go fast. But there's so much crap in here that... Oh, you guys remember this one. If you guys never played this game... You probably didn't... You missed out on a good Star Wars game that was black and white. Well, it had some colors, you know. But a pixelated game. One of the first three-dimensional games that they had. And the system automatically picks randomly games, too. To demonstrate to by itself. It generates automatically. So when you're sitting down and it could be a commercial or you could leave this on a on a bar stool arcade that you built. This is something that will keep people entertained for hours. So look at that Defender. Oh look at this. My all time favorite right here. Dig Dug. Sorry as game, but I like it. I like it. Very, very simple to play. Easy. Look at that. Come on. You, you gotta love this stuff, man. This is amazing stuff. Donkey Kong, the original one. And see see this program, what it does? It puts the seams on the side. You see that? It doesn't fill the whole the whole screen. So if you don't have the right monitor and you have a smaller monitor or a vertical monitor, this is perfect for that system. Now, you could change the pixelation too to l look less sharper than it is. So to put in coins, coins here, credits, and then start the game. Lone Just Star. I love Dog Day. <laughs> Look at that. You can't beat that, man. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a video just for you guys on Lone how to Star. get this. Dig Dug LOL. Yeah, I'm going to do a video. Look at that. You're a Dig Dug fan? Dig Dug, right here. A little miniature arcade. I love that Dig Dug. So this game, this program is simple to install. Um, you do need a couple of things on your computer. You need visual basics to just to get this going. And and once you get it going, you could just just you could just start playing these games off the bat immediately. You don't have to do anything. But recommendation is buy a controller maybe, uh, an Xbox, PlayStation, whatever kind of controller you could get, you could get your hands on it. Get it because um even the old school arcade, even if you have a Nintendo uh, adapter with the USB you can play this and like I said you could use both both controls part you could use the thumb pad or you could do the oh shit <laughs> you could use the thumb pad or the actual joystick too to play the games I knew you guys were gonna like that I hope you guys enjoy that that's all I got for you guys today I don't really got that much to do I was gonna start the damn thing for the, the damn model that I started the model that I started is just too difficult to do, man. Because I need to cut it, and like I said, I don't, I don't have the right <laughs> tools right now to cut this model. I had this since 1994 too. Another one. I mean, you're gonna ask me how did you get all these models? I just kept them. I'm, I'm serious. I didn't even know I had them until I, like I said, I visited my mom and I was checking out my my old stuff and mint condition. I'm the first one to open them up. And I'm going to be the last one to paint them and put them together. So today we got this model. We are not wrapped here. Just to review some of the stuff. And put this on the... Because the whole thing was about the model. I did cut it. I started cutting it out. But look how thick this sucker is. Look how... It's not even... It's super thick. It's like... Like... Ow, it's thick. That's how thick it is, man. This sucker is gonna be badass, and um, I did start a Predator. I said I started Predator, and I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna show you guys. I started Primer on the Predator already. I finished that part. I finished out the braids. I painted them. I I put also primer on him. Um, so that's gonna be his color, and you're gonna see the finished touch. This is gonna be the hard one because these details are a little they're, they're difficult. You gotta get in there. You gotta be patient because. If you're not patient, this is not for you. These projects are not for you. Um, as big as this is, it's still going to be hard. Because um, you still have to paint it. You have to roughen them up. You have to make them old. You got to make them make sure that it works. But listen, guys. 
I brought a couple things and a little surprise. I hope you guys enjoy that little surprise. And I'm, I'm going to make a video for you guys just on how to get that stuff and set up. Um, you guys saw me build the PlayStation 3, uh, the modification I did. It's all going to be running off the PlayStation 3. It's like for my guests to come in here and they're going to grab a controller and get ready to go. So for that, I'm going to put the Thunder Stick for them. Um, I also bought a 1UP arcade system that is coming in. But you know what? I'm very disappointed when the one up. I don't have one, but I I actually played with one. That piece of, it's a piece of shit, to be honest with you. I thought it was gonna be something better than what it is, but it's not. It's it's horrible. I mean, so what I I I already paid for it. It's on its way. There's no turning it back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify that shit. I'm gonna hack that thing. We're gonna put in all these games in that system. Forget about these Street Fighter. It comes with three Street Fighter games. And that's about it. You know what? We're going to put that system. One of those systems. Not that one in particular. But we're going to put one of them. And just hack the shit out of it. And play the games that we want to. You know? In fact, I think I'm going to put a Raspberry Pi. That's what I'm going to do. And that, that sucker has a lot of games in, in, involved. You know? We have almost 1,500 games on on a video on, a, on one of those cards. If, but if you want to play um, 007 Nintendo, 60, uh, Nintendo 64 games, you're going to need a higher end model. You know, you can't play them on the Raspberry Pi. But today, I just want to show you a couple things that we're going to start. I'm going to start the projects I introduced to Bubble Fits, big old freaking legs and the whole body. And like I said, back in the days when they had models, they had models. They, Chris it, it, SNOW1, what is it that we're waiting to come in? Uh, a one-up arcade. Have you guys seen the one-up arcades? That's what I'm waiting for. One-up arcade system. I bought one. It's a big old monster. It's a little cute. It's like a real cute arcade, but it's supposed to be a big one. Like, enough where you can sit down and play. So I bought it, but I'm very disappointed with the reviews. Very disappointed. I played it. I wasn't happy with it. So I'm gonna. Ha I already have plans to hack that sucker. And I bought something just for that sucker and put in my one of these systems in that system. So it could be a real arcade and you don't have to buy anything else. Now, listen, they have a, a version two of that system I just showed you guys right now. Uh, the thing that's sitting right behind me. I'm going to give you guys uh, step by steps on a video that I'm going to make. How to install this, how to set it up. But the only thing is I can't show you the legal stuff. You guys have to find me yourself. But I will show you the. I will point you to the right directions. But what you do, it's your thing, not me. All right. So just to make sure that you are gonna have to do a torrent thing. All right. And I'm not gonna advertise that. But that's on your account, your thing. But if you do want it, stick around. I will create a video just for you. And I'm still working on that stupid mouse video that I can't get it out to go, man. But don't worry. I got you guys back. So this is what I'm gonna do. On the video that's gonna come out hopefully today or tomorrow no not today tomorrow probably you guys got to watch it and if you watch the video from beginning to end you win a price automatically but you gotta decipher the clues on the video you win I'm not gonna tell you what you win but it's gonna start with the clue right in the beginning and if you have to see it if you don't see from beginning to end then you can't win then at the end of the video, you hit the link, you could, uh, you could set up for the rest of the prices. The more people we get involved, the more we jump up the scale on the prizes, right? And even I'm, I'm thinking about giving that one up too, but it's too expensive. I paid 300 bucks already, so I'm going to enjoy it first before I give shit out like that away. I'm going to do that, but we got to make sure that if the more entries we have, the more level of prices we're going to get all right so i'm going to give a list of all these prices that we start off you know it's cheapest to the best ones and to get Chris to the best one w1 how do i register when the video comes out you're gonna have to watch it so on the video itself you could win something right off the top of it and the first one that wins there i'm not gonna say what you win but you win automatically that day that video comes out you will win something i get i promise you that day you could go and spend whatever money or whatever thing or whatever thing or a price that you get that same day you will get it to i guarantee you so at the end of the video from a to from from the start to the end you got to watch the video and that's all i'm going to tell you and the clues are in the video if you can't get it then i can't help you and 
there's a couple of things I was gonna do, but I decided on two prizes in the video. And I'm gonna break it down. So we just post in comments in the video. You gotta watch the video, and then you have to hit the link to subscribe to the other prizes. So uh, I let me explain to you. On the video, there's gonna be clues. And you gotta decipher some of the clues, and you get the clues. And you put them some link somewhere and you win automatically automatically you win the first one that disciples the whole thing wins that that whatever i can't give it away wins at the end of the video you could go ahead and register i'm gonna have the links in right below how to register and win the other prices but off the bat we're gonna have a winner on that video just on that video that's why i've been working on the video and it's been taking me a while because i have to come out with different Different strategies, man. We gotta make it make it fun, you know. Make it make people watch the video and enjoy it, you know. So you guys make sure you hit that bell button because when that video, I'm not gonna tell you when it's gonna come out. I'm gonna come out midnight. Okay, I'll give it my best. It might come out midnight. Come out anytime. I'm just gonna pick random time to hit the video, and the first one that gets it wins the prize, man. One prize on that just by watching the video. That's it. And, and after that, there's no prizes on the video, so it's dead after that. But then you hit the links right below it, and the links are going to tell you how to win the rest of the stuff, right? So the more entries I have, the more that you'll be chances of getting the bigger stuff. And we are going to give some good stuff. I'm not going to give some crappy shit, all right? We're going to give some good stuff. And um, we're the winners are going to be announced during our LAN party on the 20th. Right now, I had to cut down on the on people because we were hitting the 20 people mark and I don't have space for 20 people to be plan party here so I told them they could come and enjoy it with us but they cannot be participating because there's I only could host 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 12 people the most I could host um, I just upgraded our internet here it's a little faster it's way better than before I should be filming in 4K next time you see me. I'll probably put 4K so you could be better quality. But you don't want to see my ugly ass anyways. <laughs> so, but today, I'm just here to show you a couple of things. And I just want to give you a little taste of the thing in the back. I, I You know what? I, I love it. It was like one of those things that I didn't have to program anything. I didn't have to hack anything. I didn't have to do nothing. Somebody did it for you. That's the best way. That's the one number one thing to do. Best way of all things. Has somebody do the work for you and that's what happened this emulator in the back if you guys are interested if you guys want to start studying what it is it's called i'll tell you the name and you can start looking at your Chris favorite -O -W one just put them close to each other for the land party oh you no 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 you're not gonna miss out on the land party here brother you're gonna see everything in fact we started some construction here just for the land party we'll put some cameras in different direction and you can so enjoy seeing every fat ass fool that comes in here <laughs> now we're gonna make sure you guys are part of the party too all right i'm gonna have the audio on now if it gets a little rotty where people start saying some crazy shit we're gonna probably kill the audio right but if it gets clean we'll keep the audio as clean as possible we'll keep it going you know but i'm expecting a lot of people to come here uh we're gonna probably stream on night maybe till the next day who knows you know it's like i got the house to myself i say hey might as well enjoy it um, I do have a couple of things I've been working. I've been 3d printing a lot of figures You know, I started making my own instead of buying these I'm building my own now, you know, you don't have to Spend your money no more. Well, you do have to spend the money on the filament, but other than that um, the CR 10 X the CR 10 S um, Printer that I have I, I actually posted on my other video on my other show. Lone I talked Star. about it. Give them the band hammer that's true. That's true, man. So I want you guys to come and be part of the show. And if you guys can, you can even play with us too. There's going to be so many people that we're going to need teams. So if you guys buy Black Ops, if you have Black Ops that day, or if you win Black Ops, <laughs> you might be a chance to play with us too. You know, you're always welcome. All my, I'm, everybody that I, I talk to and I play, I play with them. You know, I play with anybody. In fact, I was playing with Chris last time, but his internet is crappy now. How's your internet now, Chris? Is it better? If it is, you can join us on the LAN party. We'll be part of here. Um, There's going to be a lot of 
tons of food that we're going to have, people and beers and drinks. But I told them if we're going to drink, we have to cover the beer because, you know, I don't want to demonetize because of the beer. They don't want people to show beers, you know. So that's one thing we're going to probably put tape on every single beer. So that's probably the best thing we're going to do. But other than that, I want you guys to come here and enjoy the day. Ask the question. You're going to meet you meet a clan that we have. We have a clan that we, we've we been having it for more than 20 years already. Almost 20 years. Um, that we've been together a bunch of buddies and stuff since, you know, since back in the days. So everybody's coming down. It's like a reunion and some new faces to us. But um, a lot of old faces too that are going to be here, you know, that Chris I know. SNOW1, five more months till I get in my new place. Oh, man. Yeah. I, I you know, hopefully you're better on that, you know. It's one of the things that you're looking forward Chris to SNOW1, it. SNOW1, I can't wait. Same here, man. So you could get a better internet, man. That's that's true, man. So I want to show you guys something real cool, man. Let me see if I could do that. Let me show you how how cool is this. Watch. No, you know what? I can't I can't show you this stuff. Let me get out of here. Anyways, I got out of the system. The system is freaking cool. I freaking like it. I recommend you guys. Like I said. Don't have to spend the money to do something like this elaborate. To create something from the ground up, it's not that expensive. But not everybody has the money, but could start saving money. You don't have to buy the state of the art machine to run that emulator I just showed you guys. It could be the cheapest shit. I actually ran it on an i3 and it ran good. One or two games that were crapping out, but it ran the basic stuff. It runs all your old classics. So it's one thing I do like about it. And one thing I'm going to show you guys. So I'll do a video on that if you guys are interested. So the name of the application is called Coin Ops uh, Forgotten World Launcher. And it's the gold version. And there's another. It's V2 version, right? But there's another one coming out. V2.1.2.1. That's going to be out. It's supposed to be better than this one. has more. Um, the, the package is not that big. There is another item that's over 50 gigs, but this one is 17 gigs, really small, really simple, really easy to install. All you got to install and then it, I'll show you the instructions, how to click on what and how to change the themes. Um, another thing that you got to do that's important is you got to make sure that you have visual basics and that's it. Once you have all those two things, you're set to go. You get your controllers, any controller, like I said, it could be any controller. I'll recognize it automatically. You don't have to reprogram anything. But if you have a, one of those generic controllers that you never even heard of, there's a way you could program those too. I will do an in-depth video on that if you guys are interested. But today, I'm just going to call it a day right now. I got to go to my NBA draft and I'll come back later and see if we could play some, some Ring of Elysium or something, man. I haven't played any of that games, but I got to get out there. Anyways... That's been your show for today. A little short one. I'm glad that you guys came in here. And I'm trying to motivate you guys to don't forget to, to watch them, man. And that's about it. I'll see you guys later. Good night, man. GG's. Lone Star. Later, man. <laughs>